Number 10. Tidal friction is slowing the rotation of the Earth. As a result, the orbit of the Moon is increasing in radius at a rate of approximately 4 centimeters per year. Assuming this to be a constant rate, how many years will pass before the radius of the Moon's orbit increases to 3.84 times 10 to the 6 meters? Okay, so let's just sketch a, a simple picture here. So let's say this dot represents the Earth. And then the moon's orbit around the Earth would look something like this in terms of a circle. And the moon, let's say, is out here now, M for moon. And the uh, radius between the Earth and the moon, it says it's increasing, so it's moving outwards um, by approximately four centimeters per year. Okay, and now it says, assuming this to be a constant rate, how many years, so we're looking for time, how many years will pass before the radius of the moon's orbit increases by 3.84 times 10 to the sixth meters. So it sounds like this value here is a, a distance uh, or a displacement value, right? And it doesn't matter in this problem which you choose because they're both gonna be the same, distance and displacement. Um, so I'm just gonna call it a displacement. So my displacement value in the problem is 3.84 times 10 to the six meters. Okay, great. So, and remember, they also gave us the rate at which it's increasing. So they told us the velocity and they said it's four centimeters per year. So now step back and consider, do you know a relationship between these mathematical variables? Right, and we do, right? The volume is equal to, uh, not the volume, the velocity is equal to uh, the change in displacement divided by the change in time. Okay, so what was the velocity? Well, they told us four centimeters per year. And the change in displacement, they said, uh, is going to be 3.84 times 10 to the 6 meters. And time is what I'm looking for, right? So it looks like I have everything I need. I know this variable. I know this variable. Therefore, I can calculate the time. But one quick second, you always have to check and make sure the units are consistent. So the displacement value in the velocity is centimeters. And meanwhile, the displacement value is meters on the right-hand side. No good. They have to be consistent. So either you convert the centimeters in the velocity to meters, or you convert the meters of the displacement into centimeters. Doesn't matter. Either way will work. I think it's easiest to just convert this value into centimeters. So let's do that here on the left-hand side. So we have 3.84 times 10 to the sixth meters, and I'm looking to convert that into centimeters so that I have consistent units. So let's write down what we're given. Meters go on the bottom, centimeters on the top. Meters on the bottom because I need the units to cancel. Now I have to think of a relationship between those two variables. And there are 100 centimeters in one meter. So we just have to simply multiply. So it'd be 3.84 times 10 to the 8 now centimeters. Great. So now this is the value I can plug back into my equation here. So let's continue. Now I'll have 4 centimeters per year is equal to 3.84 times 10 to the 8 centimeters over t. Now I can solve for t. Just remember when you do so, since your time value on the left-hand side is years, the time value that you will solve will be in years as well. So just don't forget that. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get rid of the units to make the calculation look easier. Just to simplify it a little bit. We don't need the noise of the units over t. So now just switch the t and the 4. It's basically like a cross multiplication idea, uh, kind of. So t is equal to 3.84 times 10 to the 8 divided by 4. So the t value will work out to be, take out the handy dandy calculator, divide that by 4, and we get a value of 9.6 times 10 raised to the count your decimal places. So three, six, seven. So it comes out to seven. And remember that's in years. Now considering significant figures, I should probably have no more than uh, one significant figure. Uh, why? Because the, uh, the um, velocity in which they gave to me only had one significant figure in it. So my answer should have no more than one. So really a better answer here would be uh, 1 times 10 to the 8 years, because we would the 6 would round the 9 up to the to 10, 
and just move the decimal place, so that's why now it's 10 raised to the 8 instead of 10 raised to the 7. So this would be a better answer. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Please do remember to subscribe. Thank you.